Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Today, I'm doing something a bit different once again and showing you how to install mods or buildings or whatever you want to install for Cities XL. There are two places where you can download and install mods from for Cities XL. There is Centropolis and there is XL Nation. We will be covering both of these sites within this video, so be sure to stay tuned. Now here we are on the Centropolis uh, Forum Cities XL main mod page. The first file you see, Shanghai World Financial Center broken. <laughs> Not a good sign, but anyway. In total, Centropolis has 125 files for Cities XL. 13 of them are buildings and 38 are just regular mods. There are 44 maps though. I'm going to show you how to install all of them. So let's get started. Now, there are some mods that are only compatible with certain Cities XL games. There's Cities XL 09, Cities XL 11, Cities XL 12, and Cities XL Platinum. So, for example, right here, the Shopping Festival, Festival version 2.0. Compatibility, Cities XL 2011 and Cities XL 2012. Now, that means you cannot install this mod for Cities XL 2009. It will not work. Cities XL Platinum, however, is Cities XL 2012 with, I believe, an expansion pack or two. So make sure that when you're downloading a mod, it's compatible with the game you have. If it's not compatible, then the mod will simply not work. It may even ruin your game. Also, make sure you have the correct versions of the, the games installed in order to install the mods. If you don't have those versions listed, you may want to try updating, downloading the patches necessary in order to get those versions so that you can use the mods. Okay, so the mod I have chosen for today's demonstration on Simtropolis is the No More Boxes Cars mod. Now, as you can see in this screenshot, you can see that there are brown boxes if you zoom out too far within the game. They turn the cars turn into brown boxes and it just looks really ugly. Well, with this mod, it turns those cars those brown boxes back into regular cars and trucks and whatnot. Very great mod. I'm gonna show you how to install it. So the first thing you're gonna want to do is click this green download button right here. This link will be in the description, by the way, if you wish to download this mod. Now, you may not see the same screen as me right here, and I'll tell you why. It's either because, A, you're not a member of this site in which you have to be in order to download any mod for any game, or B, something's wrong and you need to contact site staff. But if you do not see this page, make sure you are signed up for Simtropolis and eligible to download mods. So, if you see this page, click the Agree and Download button, and you're just going to click this green download button right here. Now, I am not going to click that green download button because I already have this mod installed. So, you guys are going to go ahead and do that, and once you've caught up, you can watch the next part. Okay, so here we are on my desktop. Now, you may be wondering why I'm here and not in my file explorer. Well, I'm about to show you a shortcut to get to your Cities XL file location, where you have Cities XL installed. If you have a shortcut on your desktop, that's the only way this is going to work. Otherwise, you're going to have to find your game manually wherever you installed it. So, as you can see here, I have my Cities XL Platinum shortcut icon right there. All you have to do is right click and click Open File Location. This will open up, and there you have it. 
Now, you install mods into this folder right here called packs. Not directly in this folder, but in this folder. So you're going to want to open up this folder right here. And I have already created a folder right here titled mods. In order for these mods to work, you need to create a folder and title it whatever in order to store all of the mods you download. You can't just post them randomly in this folder here. They need to be in their own separate folder. So after you've created the folder, go in there and paste the mod from wherever you downloaded it. As you can see, I have five mods installed and they all will work perfectly because I have installed them in the correct places. They're unzipped and yes. So now let's move on to XL Nation where we'll be looking at more mods that are available and yes. So let's move on there. Now the process for installing mods at XL Nation is really not at all different from Simtropolis. In fact, it is the same way you download the mod from the mods page and you install it. However, just like Simtropolis, you need to be registered in order to download mods. That's just how it is. You also just make sure that the mods you download are compatible with your version of the game and with the right game. Mods made especially for Cities X, uh, uh, Cities XL 2011 are not good with Cities XL 2012 games or Cities XL Platinum or Cities XL 2009. Make sure you check for compatibility, see which game it's compatible for and what versions.